Hi everyone. I thought I'd take a minute to just to give you some idea what reverse painting on plexiglass and glass is. I know many of you have asked and it's kind of hard to explain so I thought I'd show you instead. This is one of my finished products. This is one of the Happy Hearts. It's plexiglass. <clears throat> and when I say that it's painted on the reverse side, I actually mean I turn it over. This is the back. I paint on it. I flip it over and that's the design you see. So this starts out similar to this. I always start with my swirl somewhere on there and then I just start painting and that leads to something like this. Here's a couple other ones. <clears throat> Again, that's what you see on the front, but this is the back. That's what I paint. You flip it over and there you have the front of it. So it's kind of fun you, with all the details that you see here on the front are the first things that I paint and then I layer paint and texture over. A um, couple other ones just to show you and those that know me you know how much I love being on film but again this is a good way to show you. Here's a finished product and this one is framed. I always just use a very thin frame the back, on, when they're framed, have a nice coating on the back. You could choose just to hang it just like this without a frame and kind of free float it on the wall, which is a really cool thing to do. So that would be similar to something like this. Again, plexiglass, very thin. There's the back. Um, float it on your wall just for something unique. And finally, here's a project I'm just gonna get started on this weekend. This is how the plexiglass comes. And it's covered in plastic on both sides so it doesn't get scratched up. I get them cut to various shapes. This is what I'm actually working on for us. It's a very long piece. It's going to go over our front, there we go, front windows by the door. And um, I thought what I'm going to try to do is show you a time lapse video of this whole progress so, or process. So here's what it looks like now. And then I'm going to show you kind of different steps along the way. So anyway, I hope that answers some questions on what reverse painting is. And have a great weekend.